When installing cabinetry, we always start from our corner. So I'm gonna assemble my corner unit. Everything is pre-drilled, all fittings are supplied, so take your time and you just can't go too far wrong. First thing we're gonna do is attach our leg block onto our base panel. I've just got an off cut of timber here. I'm just gonna use that to help tap them in. Time to put on our back panel onto the base panel. Now there are two different types of screws. This one here is your cabinet screw, the larger one. So we're gonna start with those and our larger holes. Just remember not to over tighten those screws. And we're gonna finish off the cabinet with our standard wood screw. Now there are a lot of pieces to this pack, so if it makes it easier for yourself, just get some masking tape and a marker pen and just label every piece. Now this here is our dowel. These help us align our panels together. Once your dowels are in, put in your other panel. Just gently lower that over top of our dowels. And using our big fat cabinet screws, screw the two panels together. Now we just fix our two side panels together. Attach our side panels onto our back panels. Once again, we take our little dowels, putting our side panel on. Now I've just pre-assembled our top support rail. I'm gonna put our dowels on the end of that. And these slide into place. And once again, we take our cabinet screw, fix that in through the ends. Now we're ready to start putting in our adjustable feet. Now these are pretty simple. Put them in, wind that out to approximately 150 millimetres. Time to flip this over. Be real careful that you don't put any pressure on the side of the feet. So you might want to get someone to give you a hand. So just carefully lift that into position. Adjust your height using the legs and level up to your height line. The great thing about these adjustable legs is being able to fit a perfectly new level kitchen into an older house where the old timber floors can be up and down and all over the place. To fit the rest of the cabinetry, we basically just repeat the process. Now off our level line that's on the wall, we're going to measure down to the centre of our pipes. We're going to measure to the top and bottom of our box. We're now taking our measurements that are written on the wall onto our cabinet. And cut a couple of holes where the pipes will go and the corners of where the power box will go. Right, I've just finished our pilot holes. Now to keep the job nice and tidy, I'm going to come around from the front and use our hole saw and drill the holes from the front side. Hole saws make it quick and easy. So we've just got to mark around where we put our pilot hole through for our power box. We're going to use our jigsaw to cut that out. Now, just slide the unit into place. Now I'm going to show you how to put a drawer unit together. One thing you want to look out for, establish exactly what is the top of your cabinet, what is the bottom. Now we've got four runners, three short, one long. Now you know your runner's right when the wheel is facing towards the bottom. Keep that flush with the front, then you've got two screws to put in. Just don't over tighten them. You can use a screwdriver if it helps. Now just do the same for all the other sides. Once your dowels are in, putting our side panel on. Just remember not to over tighten those screws. And then pop in the feet. Right, let's put our drawers together. Take our metal sides, just clip those in nice and gently there and swing that around. That's self-supporting. Clip the other side in. I'm going to turn that upside down. Base panel has got two holes on either side. These line up with the lugs that are sticking up on our sides. Now with our draw front, just put these little rubber soft closing lugs in there. Also, our holes are at the top for our handle, so we know that that is the top. Our little clips on the side here, these go on the outside with screws face on the outside. We use these for adjustment later on. Now all we do is tighten up the screw here, one on either side, and that's the draw unit done. Time to fix our end panels on to our unit. This end panel is 25mm too high, so we have to trim the bottom edge, matching it to the up and down contour of the floor. This is how you do it. You've got an end panel sitting on an uneven floor and sticking above the cabinet height. Put panel into place and clamp into position, level with top of cabinet. Measure distance above finish height, 25mm in this example, and cut a matching 25mm block. Set a pencil against the top of the block and slide along the floor to scribe line matching contour of the floor. Now simply cut to the line, 
and lower panel into place, level the top of cabinet and matching the uneven floor. So now we just cut along this line, refit and screw into place. Now these connectors line up and lock everything into place. Once all your cabinets are joined together, adjust the feet to fine tune your level. To fit these corner cabinets together, we're going to need something for them to attach to. I've cut myself this piece of timber. Just screw it to the back of there, and when we slide the other cabinet into place, we can screw into it. Now all our connectors are in, it's time to fix our cabinetry back to our wall. Before we do this, we need to find out exactly where our studs are. Now you can either use a stud finder, or do it the old fashioned way. You can hear that change in pitch? That's exactly where the centre of our stud is. Now before you screw back, just make sure you know where all your pipes and wires are. You don't want to hit anything you shouldn't. Now when you are putting these screws in, don't over tighten them.